Hi everyone and welcome to my first official screen stream. Um Yeah, uh not uh not really sure what I'm doing, but that's okay. Um Anyway, uh so I thought I would pull out a classic and let's play some Skyrim. I'm going to recreate my favorite character I've ever built, uh, Bellari the Silent. Um, I really like playing rogues um, in every video game, in every um, tabletop game. I'm the rogue. So, um, so yeah, let's go ahead and, um, yeah. Anyway, um, toggling between windows is still a little new for me, so, uh, you'll have to be, uh, patient. Um, I do have trusty iced tea for this evening. It seemed like an iced tea kind of evening. It's kind of warm here um, in Central California. So yeah. Um, I hope you guys are having a good night and uh, let's get into it. Uh, this is Vanilla Skyrim. Um, no mods, no nothing, just it's just the special edition so it does have all the DLCs um, so it's not like I'm using an antique but still. Um, yeah. Uh, if anyone's curious, uh, Bellari comes from um, an Indian name based on a city uh, of the same name, um, means silent walking. So yeah, it is a very edge lordy kind of name. Um, I've played probably 15 or 16 characters between Elder Scrolls 4 and 5, and between the two games I've sunk about 15,000 hours into them. I really like the Elder Scrolls. So, all right, uh, let's go ahead and um, let's get into it. So I have made um, kind of a comprehensive list of all the um, I'm 
like all the quests I want to do. Um, I think it's un a, a little unfair unless you're doing a 100% completion to force people to sit through um, like every single inch of Skyrim. I mean, the game is 10 years old. I'm, um, I really like uh, Shirley Curry and I like how uh, narrative she is with her playthroughs. Uh, so we're going to try to hit the highlights. Same as us. And that thief over there. Damn these storm cloaks. Skyrim was fine until you came along. Empire was nice so crazy. They had been looking for you. They've stolen that horse. It really doesn't ever. like you there. my you controller, but storm cloaks. We'll try mouse and keyboard. It's generally not my preference for long gaming sessions. Um, you know, I didn't just play five hours of ARC this morning the same way, but hey, what else, right? You're the leader of the rebellion. They captured you. Oh, God. Where are they taking us? I don't know where we're going. But Sovereign Guard awaits. No, this can't be happening. This isn't happening. Bro, it's it's happening. And what village are you from, horse thief? Why do you care? A Nord's last thoughts should be home. Rorikstead. I'm I'm from Rorikstead. General Talia, sir. The headsman is waiting. Yeah, Rorikstead is a shady village. I think we all know that by now. <laughs> sure. Mara. Um Kinnereth. Akatosh. The vines. Please help me. Look at him. General Tully is the military governor. And it looks like the Dalmor are with him. Damn elves. I bet they had something to do with this. Sweet on a curve from here. Wonder if Vlog is still making that mead with juniper berries instead. I think that's a like a boy. like a fetch Imperial quest, isn't it? The juniper magnificent. mead. I don't know. Sometimes I get four and five, like the little fetch quests confused. Um, because they're a little bit similar. Um yeah. inside the house. Why are we stopping? Why do you think? End of the line. Let's go. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. Yeah, really. No, wait! We're not rebels! Face your death with some courage, thief. You've got to tell them! We work with you! This is a mistake! Get forward to block when you call your name. One at a time! So I should be able to make a save here, so I don't have to go through the intro again, and I am going to do that today. Um, I'm also hoping I'll be able to hop out and um, swap mouse and keyboard for controller. So we shall see. No care of Rorik's death. No, I'm not a rebel. You can't do this. Anyone else feel like running? Why would you run? You Why would you run? Step forward. Who are you? All right, well, we're just going to go ahead and in true form. Dunmer it is. Um, yeah. Let's 
So, Bellari is an assassin. Um, I would assume she's, I don't know. Kind of on the smaller side. I feel like that's the best way to be a, an assassin. <laughs> There we go, scars. Kinda hoping that there'll be more, I don't know, varied scars in six. Okay. Let's go with the, uh, the classic eye scar. I feel like that's the way to do it. Um, and there's the sweet, like, hand. Yeah, I know it's a little bit like Sauron, but it's totally a look. I think I did red before. Uh, nose is fine. Let's be honest, we're gonna get some sweet, sweet armor, and um, probably never see her face again. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, there we go. When you're assassin, you don't need hair. It is time to finish and name our character. Another refugee? Gods really have abandoned your people, Dark Elf. Captain, what should we do? She's not on the list. Forget. Now we should be able to just go ahead she and create a block. save here so By we don't have to carriage ride I'm sorry. ever again. We'll make sure your remains of a turn tomorrow. Yeah, have we'll you be been to Morrowind recently? Because last time I checked it's pretty like smoldering. Okay. Let me go ahead and see if I can finally switch to Ugh. controller. If I can't, it's fine. I just prefer it. Let's see if it'll let me... Nope. Yeah, it's gonna just make me do mouse and keyboard. That's fine. I'm not worried about it. We'll keep it on a depth for now until I decide I'm a big coward. <laughs> I like how everyone's just standing around like, this is Tuesday. We do beheadings on Tuesday. Murder his king and usurp his throne. You started this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos, and now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. What was that? It's nothing. Carry on. It's mammoth. It's fine. They're like that when they're in heat. It's okay. Yeah, that's a normal sound. 
blessings of the eight divines upon you. For the love of Talos, shut up and let's get this over. Our book, as you wish. Come on, I haven't got all morning. My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. You say the same. Hmm. Gnarly. As fearless in death as he was in life. So my intention now is not to um, play the Civil War quest line. I've done it exactly once. Not, not super into it. Doodles. What do you see? Also, hi one person in chat. I appreciate you hanging out with me on a Friday night. It's very nice of you. This way. I've actually gotten killed here before. Um, if you're like stupid like me, hi. Um, not because of that, but because I missed. <laughs> uh, once and got stuck in the fire. <laughs> I don't like the fact that I can't pick up garbage here because God knows we're going to end up in White Run and Bellathor will buy whatever garbage you bring him. Hi. Are we are we going? Are we doing it? Let's do it. Let's like not hide from the giant dragon. Come on. I guess it's fair, their entire village is me. I... I'm a little entertained by the fact that you can't get hurt by Alduin at this point. And it's like... Yes! <laughs> okay, so... Now I know for a fact that um, our hands are bound because we can't steal anything yet. Um hands are clearly not bound guys but they're not gonna let me steal anything until like the whole unbound sequence happens uh, yeah we're I mean, it doesn't really matter what we do here let's go Level one, guys. We have a lot of work to do. Hi. I'd help your dead friend, but, like... Hands, please. Looks like we're the only ones who made it. Well, except for all the other Stormcloaks and no doubt. Imperials. Just like the children's stories and the legends. The harbingers of the end times. We better get moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. Yes, please. I can't steal much like this. There yes. You. May as well take on your skier. Uh, don't mind if I do. Alright, let's put on some sweet duds, because these foot wraps aren't doing it for me anymore. Uh, let's get this tunic off of here. We've got a lot of stuff to steal. War axe? That'll work for now. Alright. Get that armor on and give that axe a few swings. I'm going to see if I can find my way out. Okay. Let's see if 
about that gate. Now. Damn. No way to open this from outside. I think that'll fix itself. Just give it a moment. Come on, Keep moving. Hello. These Imperials kind of have better armor than you, so let's um, let's go ahead and start looting. Everything is better. Yeah, let's just go ahead and. Oops, didn't want to dump that. Look, come back here. We are. Found the key. Let's see if it opens that door. Yeah. Oops. Ooh, light armor, there we go. Dagger time. All right, let's set ourselves up here. So I know there's like ways to access some of the better um, armor and stuff really early on, um, but it's been a while since I've played this, so we'll see. We have a sword, they usually swing faster. Um, let's go ahead and favorite one of these guys. There we go. I need to move something over. There we are. I don't know if that cuts off weird, but let's find out. So, so far, my plans are the main quest, mostly because, yeah, everyone's done the main quest, but, um, it opens some opportunities, uh, that are a little harder to get to later on. I think we have a light helmet. Uh, I think we can sell that, though. I, I do believe that the, uh, weight to price ratio is pretty decent on the light stuff. And there's the warden's chest. Let's go ahead and steal. Oh, that's an iron sword. Forget that iron sword. Follow those. Alright. Move the board. Before the dragon brings the whole tower down on our heads. He's trying. I mean, you're you're not wrong about that. Yes, come fight me. Some, some pretty interesting armor for guys with some bare knees. What do you have? Just go ahead and uh, our weight's at 113. We'll see how much we can grab. Um, but uh, yeah, anything we can uh, snag and sell to Bellathor early on, I'm here for it. And some potions. I'm gonna go ahead and start 
eating ingredients immediately. So it seems like the normal thing to do. Take some bread, definitely some wine. I mean, if you think you're gonna get executed, and it kind of seems like everyone's in this uh, end of the world sort of mindset, pretty sure grabbing as much wine as humanly possible is the way to go. Just wanted to make sure I really didn't uh, goof up my camera when I move my computer over. Um, I am not a fancy gamer. Um, I do not have like a rig. Um, I have a I have an adequate uh, gaming laptop, um, mostly because um, I live in a small house. Uh, I cannot dedicate huge amounts of space to a computer. So if you hear any like distortion in the background, that is my uh, my fan working full time because I am also recording this for um, my normal channel. Hi, I like your I like your hood. Can I wear your hood? I'm gonna wear your hood. All right, time to start looting stuff. Like I haven't been already. Okay, I'm not interested in the iron mace. I will take some of this light stuff though. So um, I do have a regular YouTube channel. Um, I just started doing this this year. Um, just because I realized one day um, I get most of my own entertainment from YouTube. Um, don't have cable. And in my free time, all I really do is play video games and um, do crafts. <laughs> so I realized um, maybe there are people out there who would want to do those things with me. Yeah. Oops. Yes, lock picks. Let's take them all. Okay, so I'm much better at this uh, with the controller. So let's go ahead. I'm just gonna go ahead and quick save here. Um, yeah. I remember the first time um, I tried lock picking. So I played Four and five out of order. So having played Skyrim first and then Oblivion, and then lock picking in Oblivion with all the tumblers, oh my goodness. I was like, why, why would anyone want this? And I thought that was hard. And then I played Kingdom Come Deliverance. Um, and now it's better now. I will I will say that uh, lock picking in Kingdom Come is a lot easier now. However, um, if any of you have ever played Kingdom Come or just have seen the ad for it but never actually used the lock picking device, so you have this um, circular. It kind of looks like a lock. It kind of looks like the face of a lock. Um, it's spiral shaped and you kind of just have two points that you have to line up within this circle and it's very nebulous. It's not like um, like in Skyrim where you can only turn in one direction. Um, it's very dimensional and you have to move <laughs> these two points opposite each other at the same time and it is bizarre. Um, the first, I 
received it as a gift for my birthday right after it came out and I was just like what is this nightmare so um, actually one of my favorite like lock picking um, mini games is actually the hacking um, in Fallout um, I, I like I don't know it's just fun to me so let's go ahead, we're going to put on, let's see what this looks like. Do like our cool hood. It doesn't really do much, um, but it actually has better armor than the helmet. Yeah, let's get a little magic going, um, just so we don't get too far behind. I, I think there is a certain logic um, to take from Oblivion uh, to carry into this game, which is... Yeah, you, you might have like a character build in mind. Um, but the game keeps leveling and there are going to be quests, there are going to be circumstances where you will have to use skills outside of your skill set. And I feel like maybe up until level 30, characters are pretty unique. And then from like 30 to 50, they kind of get flat and then they start getting unique again. Um... I first played uh, Skyrim on the PS3. Uh, I received it as a gift when I had taken some time from my job for medical leave. Um, and I was like absolutely not allowed to be up on my like leg at all. And um, my partner thought it was the best way to get me to behave and not try to do things around the house. <laughs> because I would have. Um, it was nice because I was really stuck in my house for um, about three months um, other than doctor's appointments and it was nice being able to just escape for a while but um, anyone who played Skyrim for any like real length of time knows that um, the way the file system worked in on, on the PlayStation 3 was absolutely a nightmare. So your file types would just get corrupted. They were just so huge and so unwieldy. Um, I was kind of sad. I was building up a character to um, fight the Ebony Warrior. Like, that was the goal. Even if I got my butt kicked and chucked off a mountain, I wanted to fight the Ebony Warrior, and you know, it, in all this time, I still haven't. So, I don't know if that's an attainable goal here, but I'm going to try. Um, I don't know if an assassin build is ideal for that. Okay, so I just picked up some nonsense. Let's just go ahead and dump that. I don't want to be held back from picking up good, well, not like this cave has a ton of good loot, but it's got some stuff. Um, what did I pick? Okay, so no more ragged robes. Um, anything else? None? No, we just have some lockpicks. Perfect. This way. But yeah. I've seen videos of other people, much more experienced players, take on the Ebony Warrior and like. I don't even know if it's really, like, you can call him the boss. Maybe he is. Um, honestly, there are some earlier, um, like, uh, I always get his name mixed up with Mankar Cameron, um, but the boss in Meridia's Temple no. <laughs> I think the first time I did that quest, it took me like 
37 times just to bite the bullet and drop the difficulty to just get through that last bit. It was so not fun. Yeah, I hear them firing at me. I don't care. Um, it was just awful. Um, uh, da, 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 we don't need this or this. We do need this, though. Oh, I don't like not being able to toggle my favorites the same way. Anyway, so... That, I think it's, um... Oh, do we have magic now? Do we start with magic? We have to. Yes. Sorry, friend. It's gotta be done, though. Oh, maybe he's like, um... Like a character you can't kill. Okay, I'm gonna take these. Um, now we have to make some choices here. Do we eight worth 20? All right, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to... Oops. Drop those. I'm gonna keep those though. Oh, we can just. Uh, oh, I already know sparks. Hmm. Alright, well, that was fun. Let's see if there's anything to loot real quick. I know there's a way to, like, leave here with a decent amount of gold in our pocket, which seems like a plan always. Uh, take those. Do not want Warhammer. Uh, who does anybody who opts for two-handed um, in this game? That's just not for me. <laughs> this goes. Yes, let's do. I hear him talking to me, but why would I why would I not come back here and loot this body? For gold. Thank you. And again. It's pretty cool. So on my to-do list, main quest. I would like to collect as many word walls, words of power as possible. All of the dragon masks. Because they're super cool and even though it it's not anything super special, um, that moment when you travel through time and open up the uh, the you know, with the secret wooden mask, super fun. Doesn't? Go Doesn't? 
Oh no. Guess we'll have to go this way. Oh. I totally forgot what the control set is for mouse and keyboard. Give me a second, guys. Sorry. It's control. Thank you. One more time, because I apparently cannot multitask at all. I don't think I have any arrows equipped. I think that's different than um, I've been playing some other stuff with just wildly different um, <laughs> wildly different control sets than this. So um, I've actually been playing a little bit of um, oh that was kind of um, no Man's Sky and because like your controls have everything to do with um, too many eyes yes I agree um, because your controls also have to do with all of your tech it gets a little weird um, I haven't gotten very far. I keep... I don't know. Not really finding a foothold. I've, I've moved between worlds and stuff, but... Um, just keep starting new characters and, or new planets without actually doing anything productive. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and eat a spider egg. Gotta, let's see, what if, what if we, we haven't had bone meal, we haven't had a uh, spider oh. egg yet. Seems like they'd be just kind of squishy. Um, if anybody plays Ark, um, they updated about maybe five or six months ago where now you can start breeding some of the insects. And um, they're like, the, they're jelly eggs like you would expect, but I guess so that the player character can see it in the world, they sit on these weird little like plant pods. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and take care of our furry friend over here. go ahead and eat some more ingredients. We'll be an expert by the time we hit town. I feel like there's no way to walk through this bone pile without sustaining like random world injuries. Not that I can really talk about that IRL. I'm, I have all the grace and dexterity of a marionette caught in a windstorm. So yeah. I would like your blackbriar mead, please. Alright, so we're gonna clean this out. Um, it's a little bit like when you escape the Thalmor embassy anytime other than the first time, and you're like, wow, look at all this stuff I can take. 
Um, I love the memes of it's just like dumping just thousands of pounds of crap in the middle of white run. <laughs> just like, here you go. Here you go. Um, I didn't know until a couple hundred hours into the game um, that you could make civilians fight over loot if it's worth enough. If you just drop it in the world. I think that's really cool. That looks like the way out. You would make it. Totally. I had no doubts. No doubts. Alright, let's just go ahead and put that away. We're not going to need that. I am going to go ahead and save them. There he goes. Like there he goes. Yeah, we'll we'll be meeting up with him again soon. Um, we have to get good first, though, or at least learn how to scream at everyone. Lots of screams. My sister Gerda runs the mill in Riverwood. Looking cool. Probably not. I wouldn't have made it without your help. Yeah, probably not. Um, if you're not playing this game with the intention of, oh, bonus, something I will not kill in this game. They're way too cute. Is it stuck on my feet? It was. Okay, there we go. Uh, the bunnies are super cute in this game. Um, I have to say that was like a, again, because I played stuff out of order. That was a little hard for me in Oblivion because in Skyrim... All the wild animals are like, oh, he's still talking. I don't understand. Anyway, um, in Skyrim, everything, like, skeevers are ugly. They have those, like, weird bald bellies and stuff. Um, they're all scarred and ugly. And then, like, rats in Oblivion are like, I'm so cute. I'm so cute. And, uh, that, that was, that was not great. I mean, even trolls are kind of cute. They look a little more like fae creatures in Oblivion. Um, I actually own Morrowind. I've never played it. Um, I know it's a, it just gets harder and harder to go back. Um, but my plan is to play Morrowind before 6 comes out. So I have like full appreciation um, for everything that has been before I move forward. Um, I have played a little bit of ESO, I would say, compared to other like... Um, like online games it probably has like one of the least toxic experiences I would say um, I feel like in general people are pretty cooperative um, everyone seems pretty like into the story and like look how cool my magic pet is um, which is really nice um, I, I know um, friends, especially some of my girlfriends who've played like WoW and stuff, and it's um, it's not the best um, in that in those terms, which is really a shame. Um, literally, just had a conversation with someone who was like, "Oh, I didn't think you gamed." At which point, I was like, "How do you not know?" But I guess that's fair. Um, a lot of women don't talk about gaming. Um, most, um, of my girlfriend's game, even if they don't really mention it, uh, I think it's probably a self-preservation thing. Um, nothing like having to defend your hobbies. See that ruin up there? Bleak Falls Barrow. Never understood yeah, how my sister that's would stand. Maybe awesome. Ten years of this game and it's still just arresting the first time you see that coming out of um, Helgen. Just arresting. Alrighty guys. 
So we will come back here and switch these out a couple times. I know there's other guardian stones. Oh, that should go on the list. Let's put that on the list. We'll put guardian stones on the list. I feel like that's something we should definitely um, collect all of. Uh, yes, I do have a checklist. Why? Because that's my life. Um, let's go ahead and make sure we put guardian stones on our to-do list. Um, I know there's a ton of stones in the game, but these three really are the core three. Um, where's my sneaks? Sneaks. Yeah. So we will come back and swap these out. Like I said, um, never too late to take charge of your own okay i really want to go to that mine because there's good stuff in there but we are carrying like 200 we'll call them pounds 200 weight units of uh, nonsense in our pockets right now and i'm sure we look ridiculous just wandering around because i didn't pick up a backpack um, so I just assume that I've been shoving stuff like in my pants and like down the front of my shirt, just like, yep, yeah, let me just take all of this armor with me. Um, but yeah, but gosh, like guys, how cool is this? This game is 10 years old and let's be honest, there's stuff that's hitting the market every single day that does not look as good. Okay. Let's see if we can get... Um, if you don't know, there's a couple um, ingredients in the game that are not the most linear to collect. And if we're super careful and spam the heck out of E, we might actually be able to get some. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, only while stream, only while swimming up a waterfall. Can you collect a salmon and maybe it's roe, it's eggs. Um, I actually don't think there's too many things in the game you even make with salmon roe, but is it going to be kind to us? I might have to go to the other side here. I feel like I'm super far away though. I don't know why. But I do want to go to that mine. Um, the mine has loots. Um, like I said, I feel like from levels 1 to 30, characters are kind of unique. 30 to 60 are kind of whatever. And then afterwards, like things get really spicy again. Um, but there are just like requirements for some of the quests that require your character not to be super lopsided in, in skills. Um, I generally tend towards um, only putting a few points in health, uh, mostly because I play sneaky characters. Um, but um, things like Muffle and um, one of my absolute um, sh favorite shouts, Fas Yanir, are a whisper. That's some good stuff right there. Uh, yeah. It's definitely on the to-do list. Okay. We'll come back. Spent a good, like, three minutes on that, and I'm already bored. Let's go. But, yep, yeah, let's go dump our pockets, um, make that someone else's problem, and then let's go to that mine. Uh, no sense in waiting. Collect all the alchemy. Well, we were too late. Take your pelt though. Um, uh, yeah. I think there are parts of the game that are certainly uh, worth exploring. Um, I did spend a significant amount of time with a character 
um, just literally wa picking a road, walking down it, and poking my head inside every cave I found. Um, very cool. Some caves are rather uh, specifically tied to certain quest lines. So you'll find like, not even invisible wall, you'll find like physical barriers, like, um, like stone faces and stuff, where it's very clear that's not where you're supposed to go. And oh my god, chickens! They have a very similar, um, they're not, obviously not as pudgy and cartoony, but they're like animations. Um, definitely are, I think, inspired the chickens and East Shade. So, fun times. Okay, let's just put some more weird stuff in our mouth. Um, a real life, don't just, uh, stick some random mushrooms in your face, because that's a bad idea. I wish I knew a little bit more about mushroom identification. <laughs> Seriously. Hi, Alvor. Let's be friends. Would you like some help around the forge? How about you sniff me an iron dagger? Here's everything you need to make one. Cool. Um. I actually really enjoy smithing as like a downtime activity. Yeah, check it out. Put something sharp with a handle. Not bad, but it's a little dull. How about you sharpen it up? Just need a bit of metal and the grindstone over there. Alright. Can do. Hello, Mr. Grindstone. Let's make a super sharp dagger. Um, yeah. Oh, I have to actually buy a ingot from him, I think. Don't I? Maybe not. Oh, don't go stealing stuff right in front of everyone. That's a good way to be sad. Iron. I've sharpened you your iron dagger for you. Good. You put time into your blades. They'll serve you well when you need them. Yeah. Well, good thing we have extra leather, too. Tan some leather. Some more leather. Oh yeah, that's right, because we uh, fought the bear. It feels like minutes ago since we did that. I am the sneaky type. Both of weapons and armor need leather for straps, fittings, that kind of thing. Let's see if you can make a hide helmet. Here's the rest of what you need. Oh. It always confuses me. You think yeah. for all this time it wouldn't, but um... It really confuses me that you make hide materials at the forge. Mm -hmm. I guess <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I should hire you to be my assistant at this rate. Let's improve the fit. Take this leather to the workbench over there. Oh man, I always, uh, I always was kind of tickled by that. Um, it's like, okay, well, like you're the chosen one. You know, you're the dragonborn, yes. but also sometimes you need a day job. <laughs> you looking for a new blade? You have talent. Keep working at your craft, and you'll be a fine smith one day. Why don't you keep that dagger and helmet? Maybe you'll remember me when you're making Skyforge steel, huh? Skyforge steel. Uh, I think we can do better than that. All right. All right, so let's come over here. I think they're still open because I've just been. Well, one of us has to do something. 
I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Really? Because you're screaming awfully loud for not being theatrical. We are done talking about this. Oh, customer. Sorry you had to hear. Maybe you could talk some sense into my pig headed brother. Maybe. Hi. I don't know what you overheard. Yeah, we did have a bit of a break in. We still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only an ornament, solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. Yeah, let's uh, could, let's go ahead and help get that claw back. My last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Now, if you're going to get those thieves, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, northeast of town. Oh man! The sooner you find the claw, take a look. Can you can you take my nonsense though? All right. I do miss, like, full-on bartering. I won't lie. Okay, we're not gonna sell those. Trinkets, odds and ends, that, that sort, sort of, of thing. thing. Well, I guess he's, uh, not willing to s sell his sister, like, Bellathor. Okay. So let's go ahead. We're gonna sell, um, five of those. We're gonna hold on to those and upgrade those. It's a good way to, you know. Here we go. Don't need that. Or those. Or any of that. Let's hold on to these. But let's keep walking around in our torture's hood because that seems friendly. All the wine, you can have that. And those. Uh, I apparently already know that, so you can have this too. Sweet, we weigh time. a whole lot less now. Your new helper here needs a guide. Uh, no, I. By the eight. Fine, but only to the edge of town. I like her. She's sassy. Um, actually, uh, so sassiness. Um, so sometimes I we have, have to go through town and across the bridge to get to Bleak Falls Barrow. You can see it from here, though. The mountain just over the buildings. Ah, uh, thanks for that. Those thieves must be mad hiding out there. Those old crypts are filled with nothing but traps, trolls, and who knows what else. Uh, who knows what else is... Yeah, it's pretty, pretty straightforward. Hi. Uh, let's go ahead. There is a alchemy bench in here. And then we can go back to that cave. Uh, but what I was saying is, um, so, uh, sometimes I have to use, uh, are you cane... Listening? To get around, uh, I have like a heavy duty one that I use at home, and then I have a folding one for out in the world. And, um, <laughs> one of them is named, my heavy duty one is named Uthger, and, um, my folding one, the one that converts, transforms, is named Ayla. You're that visitor been poking around. Oh, I'm I'm definitely uh, doing something. I'm the innkeeper. It's my business to keep track of strangers. Oh, I'm sure it is. Sure it is. We don't get a lot of travelers here in Riverwood. Really? But everyone's so friendly. The war keeps most folks away these days. Just try to use some of these up. And most of my uh, customers yeah. are locals. Come here to relax after a hard day's work. So what's your story? 
just here to relax. Uh, well, uh, I'm a refugee, apparently, and I got caught uh, trying to cross the you border. Look like you could use an ale. And, uh, yeah. Here we are. Uh, almost got beheaded, but uh, saved by a dragon that's You're here to end the world. You know, Delphine. This is an ode to Skyrim's staunch protectors, the Imperials. Yes, I'm sure. Bring to our youth. To All right. Well, <clears throat> let's go ahead. So we got our weight down to 107. We actually have a decent amount of gold now. What let's go get more. It took me a very long time to figure out that, um, yeah, all right, let's, um, let's go ahead and work on our sneakums. Um, it took me a really long time to figure out, because it's so, you know, different in terms of appearance to other games. Um, that e despite the fog on the on the map, you can still kind of make out um, the roads. Oh, you want some of those too? Ale, amethyst, gold. Alright. Lockpicks are always nice. So I have two canes, both named after uh, Skyrim characters. I actually purchased a more like nice one because the other two are aluminum. Uh, I actually purchased an, a wooden one. I um, really don't know what to name it. Uh, so I'm going to work on that. I've had it for a while, but uh, because of everything in the last year, um, I haven't had a reason to take it out anyway. <laughs> Alright, well, I actually went in the wrong way here, but it's alright. I'm, I'm good with that. Don't mind if I do. Uh, I also really enjoyed um, like collecting all the food ingredients because there are some less common ones. And even though cooked food isn't like certainly as powerful or you know it doesn't have the same utility as like 
Uh, potions? I really do like making stuff at the cook pot for really no particular reason. I forgot about this chest. This is a nice happy accident. I know that there's a coin purse at the other, like the actual entrance. Because we definitely came in through the exit. I'll be taking all of that. Thank you. So let's go back up here and complete darkness. Um. I really want to turn my torch on, but so let's have the see ya. Actually, we did a pretty good job clearing this out. That's nice. I will take your hunting bow. Absolutely. All of your arrows. Let's go ahead swap our arrows. We're going to go ahead and make that our new favorite. And we're going to unfavorite that. Don't see anyone yet, but I'm sure there's more. Sure there's more. So we got all these guys up here. Alright, down and around. Then there's, is that like, not, not quick water. There's the mine to the like north northwest of White Run, and that's where you go to get the um, transmute tome. It's like the only place in the game to get it. I just realized we the level up. I've been so distracted just stealing stuff. Per use. Right. Let's go back here. And somewhere there should be a pick. And we can pick up the ore here, although I don't think that's super necessary for us. That was way faster than the longbow. Take that. I'll take my arrow back. Oops. <laughs> Clairvoyance, got another dagger we can upgrade. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do this. Oh, I was expecting it to be a, like a master one. Okay, we can take that and um, disassemble it. No mushrooms we probably should not eat, but are going to anyway. I think that's the entrance back there. That's someone's uh, chamber pot. Not super into that. I don't think there are too many more. Um, here, let's go ahead. Oh, we've cleared the mine. Okay. I mean, I know that sometimes it'll say cleared, but there's like one or two stragglers, but 
all in all, here we are. So, we've got some ingots. We have some rot war. I think it's going to be a second. Ah, sweet. I will take that book, please. Um, I know it can say, like, well, we can actually just go ahead and take care of some of those uh, daggers right now. Uh, well, uh, we just got a sweet hunting bow, and now we're going to go ahead and upgrade it just a little bit. And we'll get all these that we can. And the best way to uh, be able to make the better armor later, and of course to upgrade um, anything enchanted. So. Oh, definitely opportunities for that. There is a, I think it's a tumbling trap. Yes. Oops. Let's just go ahead and worked out well for you guys. That's right, this guy. <laughs> Poor guy. Skyrim doesn't exactly have great um, employment opportunities. They've had me working down here for days now. It's not the time that's getting to me though, it's the tunnels. I've told them countless times now to add extra support to the weak sections of tunnel. If only we had more of those wooden beams that we reinforced with the bronze bottoms. Honestly, if I hear Earth shift one more time above my head, I'll be so stressed I may stop drinking for good. I mean, what's a Nord without his mead? Oh, sorry, buddy. Oh, and I collect books like a crazy person, so just bear with me on that one. So this is what I'm looking for. Go ahead. I think it only has like two deep in the water. I might be. I might have to go up on the bridge.
23 gold. Probably worth the arrow. All right. We all. Now that we've, oh, you know what I just realized? We probably have, here needs the drop. Careful, I'm gonna go up this way. So we don't wanna get hit with those guys. And uh, yeah. Oh yeah, we've discovered the mine. Take that. So how much stuff are we actually carrying right now? Quite a bit. Hmm. And it is 1.30 in the morning. Let's go ahead, uh, while we're here, go ahead and uh, eat some random stuff that we found in a mine. And I think we can still sleep it off at the inn because other things haven't started yet. Just kind of seeing what we're at here. Kind of miss um, the like random bed rolls from Oblivion. I was like, oh, I'm just gonna sleep here. You're kind of fuzzy. What's wrong with you? What do you want? Here. Got any ale or mead? Uh, I have ale. Fandal thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine. I can Camilla Valerius knows I'm the best man in Riverwood. That elf is kidding himself if he thinks she would choose him over me. I've seen oh, him sneaking Sven. over to Riverwood Trader to speak with her when I'm not around. He's wasting his time.
Is that sarcasm? Yes. I've heard better wisecracks from Orgnar. Ah, still you have a point. Camilla letting Feindel visit her isn't a good thing for me. Here, let me give you a particularly venomous letter. Say it's from Feindel. That should get Camilla to stop inviting the elf over. Realize right. that I do not have subtitles on. Sorry, guys. My favorite drinking buddy. Let's yeah, get some meat. Yeah, definitely your favorite. We got rooms and food. Drink too. I cook. Ain't much else to tell. Until next time. Okay, but where's the. Hmm. Hey, I want to sleep somewhere. You're that visit. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Isn't that? No, it's this one. Uh, yeah, that looks good. Cause I think we're going to go to the traders, dump what kind of stuff we have, Give me and a then mug let's of uh, head out to Bleak right Falls. Out. Um, I think that uh, would make for some great progress for today. I hear puppers. They're all like wolfhounds. I love it. Oh, there it is. A fine day to you, friend. May you die with a sword. Oh, that's right, hands. because we were supposed to visit them. Use the key to the house. Stay as long as you like. If there is anything else you need, just let me know. Thanks, Greater. Take that and the potions. Thank you. There is something you could do for me, for all of us here. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgruf in Whiterun to send whatever troops he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Ah. You know, um, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna be out in the world anyway, so no worries. It's it's not a debt. It might take me a, I might take a little detour to get there. Okay, can we talk about the fact that the cows are literally the cutest? They're like, are they like Scottish Highland cows or whatever? Just so fuzzy. Is the trader open? It is. Okay. So, can we... You're not from around here. That makes two of us. Sven wanted to trick you into believing this letter was from Fandal. Okay, so here's the deal. Fandal's not the best follower, but he's the first one you can get. And at least he's an archer, so he's not gonna, like, die the first time a draugr like smacks in the face however our choices early on are sven and Vandal, and sven i'm pretty sure is like as i remember is just like generically like either sword and board or two-handed and i don't know sven's kind of a jerk anyway what are you talking about what's in the letter oh my you wanted me to think Vandal wrote this Thank you for telling me the truth. Could you talk to Feindal as well? I'm sure he'll want to thank you for standing up for him. Yeah, sure. Lucan and I will be waiting for you back in the shop. The sooner you find the... Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Um, well, I have some treasures to sell to you. Um, nah. 
because I want to learn that enchantment. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and sell all these anyway. And hold on to Steel Dagger for now. We only need one of those. We only need one of those. I can't believe I didn't sell these last time. One of those. We want to dismantle these the first chance we get. I can't remember if there's an enchanting table in Bleak Falls. Oh, wait, do I have anything oh, else? I just realized I'm still carrying more stuff. Uh, bread. Keep the journal. We should hold on to these for smithing. All right then. Let's just see what we have here. Oh, we gotta wait down to 90. We have almost 200 gold. And let's go ahead and learn clairvoyance um, because some of us aren't really good at following roads. Uh, and I believe that's Bane Doll now. Greetings, Sister Al. Good to see you. I appreciate your help. Please, take this. Some gold I've saved up from working at the mill. Well, you might want to give your uh, two weeks notice, sir, or two minute notice, because um, we're going on an adventure. say especially early game my favorite companion is Uthgird the Unbroken um, I like the idea that um, I like the idea that first of all the world isn't just filled with young warriors that there are grizzled and weathered uh, men and women um, just out in the world doing what they're doing. Um, I like the fact that, you know, uthgard has got some, some baggage. Um, they didn't, like, pretty her up too much. She's got, like, gnarly face scars. I'm actually kind of relieved she didn't like end up in the companions though because uh, you know I don't know I, I mean that's a whole other bag of biscuits that's the first expression that comes to mind I know it's not a real one but we're going to call it a bag of biscuits let's go ahead I mean, there's a tower up here when we played this a million times. I don't mind the main quest. I'm really glad that the, like, uh, you know, Alduin the World Eater quest line is the main one and not, like, the Civil War. Um, that's not particularly interesting um, to me, especially when you consider essentially the game is making you choose between two colonizers. I mean, can we really be that mad at like the Forsworn? Thought for sure he was dead. Take your gold, take your lock picks, and your arrows, and your dagger. Um, I don't think it would be, you know, angry at the Forsworn um, for 
you know, their stuff. Um, oh, hi. Are you coming down to say hi? I'm gonna say hi. Hi. Let's see what you have. You got some gold. And that's about it. Now, let's go over here to weapons. What am I using right now? Imperial. Nine damage, weight 10. So honestly, it's just worth more. Nah. Let's kind of stick with what we have for now. We should strip down one of those soldiers though and give Vandal some equipment. Um, oh! Got our first like uh, magic regenerates 25% faster. I don't think we need to worry about blocking, but I'm gonna go ahead and put on the spring of archery and this uh, sweet amulet. Um, and you know what? As much as I like the, the hood, let's go ahead and put that on too. Um, Alright, uh, is anyone wearing anything light? Because I think that's kind of his deal. Um, this guy's got some furs. It's not too bad. Ready, new friend, where are you? Your back. What do you want me to carry? I want you to put these on. I want you to stay warm. Not sure how I feel about him being bare chested, but you know. Put my light armor back on. We've got quite the outfit here. Now we will have plenty of time for sneaks, but I kind of just want to get into the burrow. Barrow? Barrow? Let's go ahead and just quick save there. Bleak Falls Barrow. Yeah, we have plenty of time for sneaks, but it's probably not a bad idea to get our magic and one-handed up, because there will be circumstances where we will need those skills later anyway. Hi. Anything good? to our friend. There you are. I bet you have arrows. No. Okay. Yes, I know my magic's low. I'll just take all of it. Alright. Um, what are you doing? We've already done that. Still here. Here, I want to trade some more stuff with you. What do you want me to carry? Put on more clothes, please. Uh. And. You lead, I'll follow. Yeah, I guess that's it. Okay, so now we will switch to some sneakums. someone. 
living rats in here or just the dead ones? I don't know. Skeevers! I am not a... F like, cute domestic, like, Dumbo rats are adorable, but like, IRL, like, river rats scared the bejesus out of me. Not gonna lie. I feel like it's because I know they can carry some, you know, very unhealthy things. Um, yeah. I do really like the architecture. Um, obviously a lot of care, um, was taken to create this world. I do really miss the Aelid runes though from 4, uh, I think because they're just so kind of otherworldly. Um, I mean the Dwemer are super cool, um, it might be the best world building part um, of 5. Um, it definitely leaves me wanting more though, um, for sure. Make sure I didn't miss anything coming in. I think there's a draugr in the next room, a dead one, that has like some goodies um, around it. I do, I mean, obviously they're, they're elven races, so there are similarities between, like, the Aliens and, uh, let's say, um, like, we see the, the snow elves, we see their, um, their palace, uh, in the Hidden Vale. And definitely you see that inspiration, of course, like, um, Mer across the board have so much, like, bird, um, iconography, uh, in their architecture and their armor, uh, which is very, very cool. Um, but I really did like the Elliot Ruins, and I think they were, like, randomly generated, so each one was a little different, which is interesting. Go ahead and keep your torch. I will take your dagger though. I don't think we need to sneak in here. Uh, this is definitely like my first introduction to puzzles and more modern games. The very first game I can remember playing, um, <laughs> age appropriate? Probably not. Um, I played Doom with my dad when I was a kid, um, not necessarily intentionally, alright, so I think it's Snake Snake Whale, um, but, uh, he had, um, like, deafness in one ear because of his job, and at a very young age, uh, I started um, kind of shouting out the names of the, uh, various demons. <laughs> in the game um, because he kept dying and it was kind of like, Dad, what are you doing? So eventually, instead of um, 
you know, him just floundering through. He put the headphones on uh, my ears, sat me on his lap, and then he used the joystick to do the actual combat. And uh, yeah, that was kind of my introduction to gaming. I was probably four or five, <laughs> and uh, I had a blast. It was great. Um, let's see here, thief. Let's get some skills. Uh, but um, I definitely went through a period of my life where I really didn't have access to video games. So um, yeah, definitely a interesting way to get uh, introduced to gaming. But um, I guess the style of puzzle. In, of puzzles in the Elder Scrolls. It's like, well, if you're not sure, just go back around. Alright. Sorry, Fandal, if I scorched your furs a little bit there. It was not my intention. Just getting distracted. Let's see, anything good on these shelves? Probably not. We're kind of really on in. Scroll of Fireball, never a bad thing. While I appreciate uh, a little bit of help from the devs when uh, they build these places, it's always a little alarming you walk into a place and it doesn't, doesn't really look like anything. And, um... Next thing you know, there's like a pile of health potions and yeah, scrolls and I don't know, this is like going go well. I think it's in um, like Meridia's temple, which uh, is it Malachar? I think is the um, is the necromancer and. Yeah. And he's tough. He's so tough. And, um, all right, where's our friend? I know she's up there. I don't know, like, oh, there she is. Dude, you're not a good guy. I don't care if she eats you. I care if she eats me, though. Um, but when you go into, like, the last couple chambers of Meridia's temple, you find, like, scrolls of turn undead and, um, bane of the- I think there's one scroll of, like, bane of the undead. <laughs> like this isn't gonna go well for any of us. Uh, we have some urns back here. We do. Nine gold. But um, considering the kind of flavor of the enemies in this game, um, getting Dawnbreaker is early as possible, which I think the earliest you can get it is level 8, uh, really uh, makes life super easy, um, and uh, if you do like the Dawnguard DLC, you know, obviously you really um, benefit from having um, a, an upgraded Dawnbreaker. Do I actually have to talk to him? Because I kind of don't want to. Because I know he's a creep. There we go. So, for you 
I don't know, the one person on the planet who has not uh, played this game. Let me go ahead and give some of this stuff to Fandal. Um, that was an Aaron the Swift or whatever. He's a thief and right um, not a very good one. What do you want me to carry? And he is deceiving you because he wants you to do the hard work for him um, so that, you know, he doesn't have to. Alright, so yeah. furs apparently are still better. Let's go ahead. We've got our bow. Uh, and let's go into our inventory. Um, Aaron has a... Our Arvel. I don't know why I'm calling him Aaron. Alright. My fingers are trembling. The Golden Claw is finally in my hands, and with it the power of the ancient Nordic heroes. That fool Lucan Valeris had no idea that his favorite store decoration was actually the key to Bleak Falls Barrow. Now I just need to get to the Hall of Stories and unlock the door. The legend says there is a test the Nords put in place to get the unworthy away, but that when you have the Golden Claw, the solution is in the palm of your hand. Um, that it is, and I'll go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and check this out. Um, so it looks like we have Bear Moth Owl. And away we go. Let's go ahead and switch back to flames. We've got to be coming up on some Draugr soon. Some empty urns. I'm guessing someone's been thieving around a bit. And as soon as we can make a, a bow of um, soul trap, the better. Oops. Also, there should be actual traps. Um, in here. Oh, yeah. Let's uh let's get ready for this, shall we? Don't like the looks of this. Yeah, that's an understatement, dude. Okay. There's one. I think these are just the mummified ones. Let's see if have anything good. They are creepy. Nope. Oh, we get too carried away with the looting. I like being able to use, like, their own traps against them. This is such a great, um, like, introduction to, like, really beefing up your stealth. I love it. Because there's so many, like, places to hide. There's so many low-level guys in here. And yes, I know I have a level up, but um, I know it's in the last room, and um, your enemies scale with you. So let's just kind of get through this first one with um, minimal frustration. See if we can guide Vandal through. Nope, apparently not. We'll be up on a waiting for us right here. I think we're too far away to trigger it though. There we go.
Are you serious, dude? Like, he should just be following me. Like, his pathfinding should just be worried about following me. But he's just gonna fight that door for a while, I guess. There you go. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, do that. Keep. So the mouse keys are a little opposite of how I had stuff mapped on um, on my controller, which is probably one of the reasons I keep complaining about it. when they do this stuff. Reward me for my curiosity. Oh, there's one back there. Now have we searched all these? There's the first one. I don't really want the Nordos. They're kind of funky. Alright, so all that is done. Shoot, how do I... Okay, I need to learn how to sprint. Clearly. Oh, do we have healing? I would hope so. Yeah. We're gonna go ahead and favorite that because, um, yeah, I know me. <laughs> and, uh, we're gonna go ahead and knock down this oil lamp because there will be friends. See if we can get a sneak attack on this guy. Yeah, these early dungeons are like training opportunities. It's great. Like when they kill themselves on their own traps, it's great. Because I mean, like, isn't that what the dragon priest did? They like created the draugr so that they would have, you know, worshippers into the afterlife. But they also set, you know, design these these traps to keep away. you know, looters and, and what have you. Um, anyone who would, like, have the memory of, I guess, their atrocities. They knew. They knew what they were doing. I'm sorry, I'm spinning around a little too fast. Let's go ahead. 
because I know me. Um, I know it's not very um, cool to uh, save uh, regularly, like, you know. But I'm just as clumsy in game as I am in the real world, so uh, I'm gonna save as much as I want. <laughs> Potion of the Defender, very fun. Alrighty. Take gold. I know eventually we're gonna find a trap chest. There's one, and I wanna say it's in one of like the Hagraven nests, where, um, for se almost all of them, the latch is on the like trigger is at the front right of the chest but for whatever reason I think it was just like a, an issue with the world itself like how um, it was just situated in the world they moved it to the back um, and uh, yeah um, it gets me every time because you can't really see it there are also a couple door traps that I somehow always miss each and every time. <laughs> oh, I got some glowing mushrooms. We're getting there though. I still think we have like, oh we need one of those. Uh, probably won't be getting any um, ore until we have the transmute um, spell just because ore is heavy for what it is. Um, but yeah. So there should be, I think, at least one here. Uh, it's a lady dragger, I believe, and then she goes up and down that ramp, and then we'll want to go all the way to the bottom because I believe there's um, at least a body down there, if not a secret chest down there. There she is. Get my, get my arrow back. I don't think there's another drop out here. I think it's just, um, and there might be a skeever down here though. Let's go ahead. So there's nothing there. There's a dead skeever. There it is. It's like, I know I did not imagine that. Oh, guess I used that one too many times. I'm so glad that like lock picks are more plentiful. There's so many things going on in the game. The last thing I want to worry about are my last two lock picks. Like, I think some, I think there's a balance because you can create a certain sense of like fear with um, like scarcity uh, and that sort of thing but there's also a point where something becomes less fun um, like an alien isolation um, the SNG, the SNJ injectors um, you use them for a couple things. I think you use them for Molotov cocktails. I know you use them for like health stuff. And I understand creating a certain amount of scarcity in a game for the sake of, again, heightening the um, intensity 
um, but don't make it unfun. And uh, I, I think a lot of people would agree that um, while the kind of sense of realism with the lock picking and oblivion, I think created its own sense of um, anxiety. <laughs> Um, creating an unnecessary scarcity for the lockpicks, I think, discourage people from um, being curious about things. And I don't want a game to discourage me from being curious, you know? Is there anything back here we missed? Sometimes there's little things in these little cubbies here. Alright. I think I got everything out of that fella. But yeah, scarcity is kind of a tricky thing in games. Um, like I understand, um, there is a cave um, to the slight southwest of Light Run, it's a Falmer cave, and I know, and we might even attempt that, um, it's a way to get really hefty, good armor, like, early, early game, like, we could just go there, it, the game, um, doesn't, like, stop you from going there, uh, however, it's hard, but it's not a basic mechanic of the game for you to go there. Like, you, you have to seek that out and, um, you know, putting through the effort. Oh, I hear another blade trap. Okay, hold on. I forget how to sprint. Alt. Okay. I kept hitting shift. So I think the first thing we're going to do, because there are dragger or skeletons in this room. So there's, there we are. So we're going to try to force them either through here or take them out. Oh, well that's really kind of frustrating. They survive both flame, like oil things. Yeah, come on. There we are. Okay, so let me put this away real quick. Okay, that wasn't too, too bad. Oh, hi. Forgot about you. <laughs> Where did Fandel go? Okay, uh, for a second I was worried that I killed him because that's a thing. Get some of that sweet, sweet gold. Go ahead and quick save here. I have to clean up my saves a little bit. I've been using them a little aggressively. Oh, let me go ahead and heal too. That seems like a trap. Let's not run over that. Yeah, that, that looks like a bad situation right there. I 
like I'm missing something. There should be a table with like... I feel like there should be a table with some loots. Probably should have saved back some... Come on, guy. Double check. I think it was like moss bear owl, but uh, let's not tempt the flame trap, shall we? Bear moth owl. There we are. I do believe there are two hmm, nice baths, thanks. So let's just go through and um, I think I think flame and sword is really the way for this. Um, I'm gonna pop open. Yes, no. There can't just be one dragger in here, right? Hi, bats. Wow. Would you look at that? Yeah. Would you look at that? Um. favorite ancestor yeah. so I know okay it's Z for shouts and powers Yeah, no, thanks, but no. <sighs> I shall send you. Okay, so I've definitely played the main quest like late game only to find out that this guy gets exponentially more difficult. Like, really yes and um i've come in here to a draugr death overlord which i believe is like top tier draugr because it's not a, just a death it's not just like a death lord it's not just a draugr overlord it's a draugr death overlord oh my goodness like it was super hard and um, it was very frustrating because this this first 
little bit here really is this first um, dungeon um, it's pretty easy it's pretty straightforward um, there are plenty of opportunities like I said earlier to kind of um, bolster some of your um, skills especially early on I see it there we go I might actually have to go around the word, word wall maybe oh no nope, I'm good and uh, yeah I just I wasn't expecting that I wasn't prepared for that um, so it ended up being a bit of a grind to kind of get through this section um, and I learned that um, if you have the intention of doing the main quest um, it's probably better to do it earlier rather than later because of how the Draugr especially will scale. Um, keep in mind the Fulmer do that too. Um, now they cap lower as I remember than the Draugr do. Um, however, um, you know there's that whole section in Blackreach especially uh, towards the end where you're just getting pummeled with um, like those Falmer soldiers and the like they're like mystics at least that's what they look like to me and it is a rough go <laughs> um, and then of course um, the final you don't want to miss this guy isn't there a chest up here? I thought there was. Oh, maybe it's down there. I thought there was one up here, though. Maybe I should have picked up a torch. No, I guess not. I don't know what I'm thinking of, then. Anyway. Um, so, yeah. Uh, it's... <laughs> it's just because of things scale. It's kind of like a D&D &D where, you know, just because things... <gasps> get harder doesn't mean they do so in a in a linear way things become exponentially more difficult kind of like the difference between um like a mature red dragon and an ancient red dragon is ridiculously different hmm. always look for the like There's a conjurer's potion. Oh, um, crabby mud crab. I have a bottle of Tajava unsweetened black tea tonight because um, it was a little bit toasty in uh, uh, in Central Cali today. So yeah, uh, usually I drink hot tea um, because when I record for my main channel, um, I usually am recording at three or four o'clock in the morning. Also, thanks for hanging out. Ah, Fandal. Hmm. All right, well, we have uh, pockets full of um, stuff. Let's, uh, let's head out the right white run. I think that's the... Uh, the next progression here. Um, I like far journeys um, since I work graveyard. Um, I really dig um, listening to a lot of the uh, Jeremy Soul um, like compositions just because it's pretty chill. Um, I think just because Far Journeys is very, um, it's very cozy, like, I'm out in the world, um, in Skyrim. Uh, it also, I think, uh, relies a little bit on the orchestrations from the soundtrack for Oblivion as well. Okay. I heard ya. Where'd you go? Hi. 
Uh, I'm pretty sure Far Journeys is it. Uh, I could be wrong. Um, Far Horizons. Ah, you are correct. Let's go ahead and look at a map. hang out another day, Anissa. I guess we're doing this. All right, hand over your valuables, or I'll gut you like a fish. Um, just, just walk away, dude. <laughs> nice try, but you don't scare me. Yeah, and you don't I'm scare me either. Yeah, I don't have time don't for this. You walk away from me. Never should have come. Goodbye. Oh, hi, friend. Nord's armor has lots of fur, and he sometimes makes my eek nervous. Oh. Also, where did my subtitles go? Thanks, Mike. Uh, Mike the Liar is an absolute fixture of Elder Scrolls. Um, I'm pretty sure he's a demigod. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's like what that is, but he's awesome. Away we go. Hi, mud crowd. Haven't seen one yet. Sweet. Yeah, I'm. I've heard it both ways, and um, I think either is fine. that bunny alone. 
behind. Aww. Sorry, little guy. Let's see. No more wizard. Oh, spell dress. I'm on a pilgrimage to the shrine of Azura, the goddess of twilight. If you'll excuse me. Ah, uh, please. Um, where is the shrine? To the northeast. I'll mark it on your map. Thanks, buddy. I'm always, uh, I always think it's interesting in a country that is clearly very, very poor. Um, and I'm guessing literacy is so-so. Mm, everyone, everyone owns a pencil and they are willing to mark up your map for you. Much appreciated. Um, I have, between Skyrim and Oblivion, I've probably logged about 15,000 hours in the last 10 years. <laughs> that being said, I'm not good at either of them. I just really enjoy them. Uh, guess not. I own Morrowind. Um, I haven't actually played it, um, kind of late to the game, but, um, oh, we've got, uh, where's the actual giant though? Um, so, but my plan is to, of course, play Morrowind before six comes out. Well, that's taken care of. No thanks to you. Uh, it didn't look like you needed my help. You're handling it, you know. Certainly also, not. I don't want to get Trump punted into the atmosphere. Thanks. Take on the giant. That's why I'm here with my shield brothers. So I have. Uh, so since I ha haven't actually played Morrowind, I have watched several LPs of it, and I know in terms of like the actual gameplay, it does get a little funky going backwards, but I don't mind. Not for me to say. You'll have to talk to Codlack Whitening up in Gravaskar. The old man's got a good sense for people. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. If you go to him, good luck. Mm, okay. Yeah, I don't know. You look strong. Come to your basket and be a companion. Yeah, I don't know. For, um... Hmm. Yeah, I, I hear that about Morrowind. Um, I, I, for me, the most interesting part of the entire Elder Scrolls mythology is, of course, the pantheon um, of Daedra, and Hermaeus Mora is my favorite. Um, and as I understand it, um, the Daedra quests are pretty awesome in Morrowind by comparison. Um, so, definitely interesting to me in that regard. Official business only. Um, Riverwood calls for the Earl's aid. Riverwood's in danger too. You better go on in. You'll find the Jarl in Dragon's Reach at the top of the hill. Yeah. Punks trying to shake people down. We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. 
I just can't fill an order that size on my own. What they say Helgen got hit by a dragon. Yeah, yeah, it did. Hi, Bellathor. Creepy dude. Brigands I can handle. Did this talk about dragons? Touching by your armor, I'd say you're an Imperial Scout. Uh, I found it on an Imperial Scout. What's the meaning of this interruption? Jarl Balgruff is not receiving visitors. He is today. I have news from Helgen. Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Come on then. The Jarl will want to speak to you personally. Uh, something tells me, given the financial circumstances um, in Skyrim, especially how just Tamriel was left after the Oblivion Crisis, I'm guessing the selling of people is probably not that uncommon. So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? Yep. Yep. Alright, well, let's let's not get into why we were... Who knows what crimes we've actually committed. Why, Ismir Irileth was right. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? Hello. We should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. The dragon is lurking in the mountains. Acacia, he'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not. I'll not stand idly by while the dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my young. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service, and I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. Come, let's I go like Ferengar, and I can't remember wizard. the name. Um, of the wizard in Markarth who runs the museum but I appreciate the fact that um, because learned people are kind of uncommon they have sort of a surly outlook on the way kind of everybody else behaves <laughs> Secrets. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warriors? No, the Jarl said you had a project you needed help with. Ah, indeed? The Jarl? Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the Dragon. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Um, sure, what am I actually fetching? Straight to the point, eh? No need for tedious hows and whys. I like that. Leave those details to your betters, am I right? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Oh, cool. You mean, like, this Dragonstone? Ah, the Dragonstone of Bleak Falls Barrow. You already found it. You are cut from a different cloth than the usual points of the all voices on me. Yeah, I kind of just want to keep pushing forward. Um. Yeah. 
Um, I think I've only ever backtracked once, and once I realized that I could just do it in one go, I'm just like, yeah, cool, let's just do it all at once. Alright, so tell me about my, um, nah, let's not be that person. You have the dragon stone. what's next? Where your job ends and mine begins. The work of the mind, sadly undervalued in Skyward. All right, well, uh, it is 1.15 in the morning, Skyrim time. Yep, that sounds bad, but, um, yeah. I'll come deal with that later. <laughs> yeah, I, it's not great. Uh, most of the voice actors are really good, but Farngar... Um, I think they push the, uh, I'm bored with everyone sort of attitude a little too far. Um, but I do like his character. My girl, coming back for you. I enjoy this work well. What can I get you? Let's start with a room, cause I'm sure probably thing. smell it's like Draugr. Friday. I'll show you to your room right this way. Yeah, I think I can amble up the ladder on the um. Snoozes. There, that looks good. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Oh, you've just been standing there all night. Well, I think this looks like a good place to leave it for tonight. Um, I've been streaming for not quite uh, three hours. Um, I'm hoping that um, six to nine on Fridays yes, Pacific Mom. time is uh, going to be a good place to, to be in the week to Certainly. actually stream. Um, for now, it's, um, it's going to be Skyrim. Um, I'm not sure what else I will get up to, but um, I've just been having a hankering for it, and I think that's what I'm going to do. So uh, thanks for coming out, guys, and uh, happy sipping.